everyone, it is Carol. I'm the creative owner and blogger at Be Inspired Market, and we have a fun Christmas craft tonight. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let us know where you're from. I'm here. <laughs> Bill's here. Bill's here. He is watching comments. Uh, so please hop on, let us know. We do have a fun giveaway for today. So um, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm going to start using that word because spread the honey. I don't know if everybody knows spread the honey. So Jennifer sprinkle, sprinkle. Renshaw is on. Oh, welcome. Lori York, uh, Bonnie Smith, Tea. Allison, Joanne <laughs> Adams, Lynn is on. Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Sharon Green from Maryland. Hey, is guys. On. I see the hearts. Thanks. So cute. Jody so, Boardman. Hey, Jody. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So, if Cheryl Dietrich is on, I have a special shout out for her. I got, she's she not on yet? on yet? Okay. Well, let me show her, show you guys what she sent us. We'll wait till maybe um, till she gets in. Okay. So, he, if Bill sees her on, then I'll share. Cheryl, sent, if you pop on. Yeah. Let, let say us, hi. She sent us some happy mail that's going to kind of go along with what we have to tell you guys. So, um, which is perfect. Okay. So I know you guys see rice and you automatically think gnome, but we're not making a gnome tonight. We are actually going to be making a snowman and snowmen are perfect. They're cute. You can have them out for Christmas. You can have them out for the rest of the time. Cheryl's on. Cheryl's on. <laughs> Cheryl's on. So Cheryl sent us this adorable, adorable, and she made this Look at her. She made us a breast cancer gnome. How cute is that? So she is actually going to be our official mascot for all our donations that we do um, in the month of October. So look how cute that is. And this is like super soft. She made the legs and then she was even kind enough. So thank you, Cheryl, um, to send me like what she uses for the legs so I can make my own. So isn't she cute? Legs and the arms. And the arms. Yeah. She even gave me the, um, little curlers that she uses for the arms, but look how cute that she is. Really is. Nice. So she should be holding up a little sign that says, thank you to all of you for the auction and the stars in October. We did raise a thousand dollars that is going to be donated to the breast, <laughs> breast cancer foundation. So without getting teary eye, thank you. Um, we will show you guys when we make that donation. Um, we're going to do that online cause that's how you do it nowadays. Um, but we want to make sure we show it to you guys that we are donating. We appreciate all the love and the hearts and the stars and all of that. And the auction was amazing. Um, so thank you. So she's like our official little mascot. So I got chills because I was so excited when it came in the mail. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then Kimberly um, had a question. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, did your nights change? I thought you guys were on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're normally on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We didn't go on yesterday. Um, we, I had an appointment and we had things going on. So make sure you guys are on the texting app. It's 847 three four nine four four seven seven if you are on our texting app we will text you when we go live some of the ladies are on here that probably got the text you can attest for it i don't spam you i'll let you know when we go live i'll let you know if we have new shirt releases or things that are coming up in the market um you can text us if you have a question i answer questions bill answers a lot of them um i had someone ask me today what is the blog post that you made the fur gnome and i told her and i pulled it up so we help you um that's what we're here for we've been here for two years we have lots of diys to share with you so there you go. Okay, let's hold, get to crafting. Hold on. I'm t sorry. We um, we got a lot of comments, but mm -hmm. it's Donna's birthday today. Donna said, happy hi, Carol. Birthday. It's my birthday, and I wanted to spend it with you and Bill. Aww. So happy birthday, Donna. Everybody, let's wish Donna a happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Okay, so what we're going to make is these cute little snowmen. You're going to need one of these long socks. I just like the longer ones because I like mine to be a little beefier. You can... Uh -huh chunky chunky bigger whatever um but you can definitely use uh, dollar tree socks and things like that i think this probably came from the dollar tree so you need a sock i bought we were at joann's a couple weeks ago and i bought buffalo check so we're going to use the buffalo check how cute and then i have heard a lot about rice and not using it we kind of use it in our gnomes and i've heard that if you freeze your rice you can kind of get rid of any buggies that might form in there, which I think is just super gross. Or um, bugs. 
or bugs. So I usually keep my rice in the freezer. Now I did see, and I didn't pick it up, and I don't know why, um, they had pellets. Where were we? Joanne's. Joanne's has like little pellets. Those are perfect for this project, especially if you're going to gift them. Um, you might not want to use the rice, but that's your choice. Okay, so I have my cup. That's how I fill. And I'm going to just put my sock in my cup. And it just makes it easier if you take the, the little, whatever that is. What do you call that of the sock? Oops. There we go. It the just, elastic band. The elastic band. So then it gives you a, the space. Make sure you stretch out your sock as best as you can. Just to get it started. Once you get it started, you're good. So you guys good? You guys are good. Yep, we're good. No questions. <laughs> okay. Somebody said and now I got smart because Bill doesn't like the rice all the way. So look what I bought off all of the Amazon. Way like everywhere. Oh, all over the floor? <laughs> so I got a little funnel. I just, you know, sometimes I try to do those little things. <laughs> Kathy Moran said, I, I never get the text. What am I doing wrong? Have you texted us, Kathy? You have to text us. So if you send it in Messenger or you send it anywhere else, we won't get it. You have to physically go to your phone, go to your texting app, say hello, 847-477, oh, 847, I almost gave you my regular cell, 847-349-4477. That is our texting app. I sent you the number again, Kathy. Yeah. You might have done it in Messenger, Kathy. You're going to want to be the on club, it. So you're not getting them for the club either? Yeah, you have to physically, um, you physically have to text us. Okay, so it's about two cups. See, it's easier with the funnel. And then you just push it down and just to at least get it started. And you're using the Tervis cup. That's a great idea. Uh -huh. The Tervis helps you keep it on there. But super cute, super easy. You can use any sock you have laying around. I mean, how many times you do laundry and you lose one? <laughs> I actually, with us moving to Florida, I don't really have too many socks. So then shake it down. That's not even your sock, I don't think. I got it from, uh, I want to say Tree. I got it from Dollar Tree. Yeah. So once you have it in there, at least started, then you can start filling it up. For a good size snowman, it's about three cups. But again, it's really going to depend on the size of your sock and how tall you want it. She's using the funnel and she's still got five <laughs> little grains of rice on the table. Honey. Oh, eight. Don't get me started because I'll, no, be, you know I'll, you be, I'll be flipping. You don't get me what? started. Seriously, that's why we have bugs. <laughs> okay. So see, you just want to get it. We're going to put a little more in there because you want you want to have enough. We're going to squish him in the middle. So if you want a little one, you're good to go. But I, I want him a little plumpier. So I want that. So once you get it started, like I said, all you're going to do is keep putting some rice in there. So has anybody made these before? They're super popular. You see it in a lot of crafts, uh, craft shows. So I just, I wanted something that wasn't, um, you know, just Christmas, because you can definitely leave, leave these out. Danielle from Bella the Barn said, if I was doing that, I'd have a whole cup of rice on the ground. <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> Danielle, you're so Danielle. cute. Okay, so now you've got them um, in there. Look three and I'm putting them in the garbage. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So see how, oop, there's more. Oop, let's, <laughs> before the rice police come. <laughs> Melissa Kelly, we have not gotten hit by any hurricanes as of no. yet, but this next one, we got to keep an eye on. Yeah, this, this next, next one, one coming, coming up. Okay. So see how his little body is just really plumpy. Now you could use beans on the bottom and do the polyfill. When I do the polyfill, I can't get that feel that I like, like to mold him into a, a certain way. So I like, if you're not going to use rice, then use pellets because those, and I don't know why I didn't pick them up. Okay. Probably because I told you not to. Probably, but when do I listen? <laughs> I don't listen. Okay. So now that you have it, now you can, all you're going to do is take a rubber band. It's going to come together really cute. The hat really does it and just get it super tight. Now, 
we've done gnomes like this before. Um, so it's pretty much the same concept. Okay, so now there's your little guy. And then to make his little body, you're going to need another rubber band. Oop, that one's broken. Hey, if we have any newbies on here oh, too. welcome, yeah. Um, comment newbie just so we can send you a welcome message and give you a shout out on here. So if you're a newbie, comment newbie. Uh, we do have a lot of people on here. So Yay. just comment newbie. Keep sprinkling. So you guys want to know what the giveaway is? I bought myself a case, a case of these little cuties from Dollar Tree. So for the month of November, every time we are live and every time you sprinkle, we will pick one lucky winner to win this. Look how cute that is. That's a buck. That's crazy. Pam so, Dockery's a newbie. Welcome. Oh, we got Melissa's so sprinkle, a newbie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Robin Post is a newbie. Heather's a newbie. Oh, my gosh. Cindy's a, Cindy McNeil's a newbie. Patty uh, Barrett's a newbie. Amber, I didn't see it. It went by so fast. Amber, I'm sorry, is a newbie. Stephanie's a newbie. Welcome. Danielle said, oh, how fun. What, <laughs> the rice on the floor, Danielle, or the Santa? Wait till you see it, guys. Yeah, so sprinkle is our word for sh air. S-H-A-R-E. Um, that's our word for just getting it out there to the people that you love and maybe some people <laughs> that you don't love. See, so all you're doing is you're taking the rubber band and that's why I like the rice because you can form your little guy. So look how cute that is already. <clears throat> now, if you want to use a stock sock and kind of give him, I don't know, like not be white, you could do that too. You are using a sock. I know, like a colored sock oh, a printed or something. Sock printed or something. sock. Okay, so now let's cut the little... Snowmen are white, though. They are, and that's why I kept with the white. So just cut off your excess. Kathleen Ooh, Everett hello. said, I made it to a live, and this never happened. <laughs> Get on our texting, and you will. You will. We send out messages. Jody, me. you are not new, Jody. <laughs> you tried pulling that, one, that fast one over at me. Every single live, you're not a newbie. Jo but uh, let's give Jody a shout-out. Yeah. Jody's amazing. She's in our club and she's just so fun. Okay. So now, what is that? Sock? Fabric? Uh, rubber band? Uh, Diana said, if you're going to keep it, which is a good thing. Uh -huh. She said, if you're going to keep it for several years, you may want to tie jute or string over the rubber band. Yes. So that it doesn't age and break. Yes. But you know what? I have a feeling this is probably just uh, or this year put or next a little, year. Yeah. This if if you're year. definitely going to do it, you could put some glue here, too, um, to kind of close it up. But, yes, those tips are, are perfect. And I actually have some jute, so we'll do that. So in case somebody well, missed Well, because the that. rubber band holds it tight. Yes, and then the but it could. just cinches it to make it, yeah, you know. But it could look come at that. apart. What a great idea, Diana. So now we'll just put some, just to make sure he doesn't pop off. And then sometimes, yeah, it's true. You move it around and you don't realize the rubber bands can snap really easy. So I just knotted it three times, and I'll do that for his waist, too. We got a lot of sprinkles, a lot of spreads. Thanks, guys. Somebody's going to win this win little... Uh... Okay. And this is all going to be covered up anyway because we're going to give him a cute little scarf so you don't really have to worry about it. But we're going to do the same thing for the middle. We're going to take some jute. Loretta's new. She's a newbie. Hey, Loretta Welcome. Wiseman. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah so you guys need a little break from everything so not that we're not talking politics but um i know for us it was let's go live <laughs> St stacy stacy lynn hall said it looks like bill's hair from the auction <laughs> <laughs> right stacy i was trying to figure it out and i'm like what is she talking about and i'm looking at the and all of a sudden i look over i'm like oh yeah i guess it was so let's let's work on um, we're gonna the hat and the scarf and all that stuff comes together. So let's work on buttons. That's real simple. Carmen already said she wants them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even done. So yet. buttons. I think I got these. I don't know where I got them. Hobby Lobby. But I'm gonna do some buttons. Um, I don't know if I want to do these light ones. Yeah. Somebody said you. Yeah, because we're doing the buffalo check. So I just have some buttons. Somebody said you could tie it with. Uh, um, Floss. Oh, that's a good that's idea. A good idea. I have some like that fishing wire 
We used that one time. What did we use that for? We used it for a project. Hey, Paula, thank you for the stars. So look at your snowman. Kind of know where, you know, you're going to put his his little, like, where his front is. See, like, that's, I did everything to the back. So you just want to make sure he's straight. And then lay him down. And then just apply your buttons. And then we're going to keep making him cute. But super easy. It's a fun project to do with your kids. Somebody said you can put essential uh, essential oils in the rice. Ooh, that's a and good it idea. Keeps the bugs away. Ooh, that's a very good and idea. And it would probably smell, right? Yes, so I would think so. Yeah, I would do like the gingerbread cookie one. Ooh, that's in there. Yeah, right? yeah we actually have that. What it, we made candles in the um, in the club, and I actually used essential stencil or stencil. I always say that essential oils that were like cookie um holiday like gingerbread and all that so linda horsey <coughs> linda i got a question for you you listening to co mm -hmm. linda said i'm a newbie to this channel but i used to follow you when you did cc how wow did, that was a long time how ago how did you find us again that's a long time ago welcome linda we want you here yeah we how done... did you find us i'm curious yeah the, how we popped up in your feed yeah, that's crazy because um, I that did CC. That was, it just came up in the memory, even with Stephanie, um, three years ago. Because we've had this page, so we did that for a year, um, and then we moved on to this page, all brand new. Started with zero. Okay, so for the eyes, go in your craft stash. I'm sure you guys can, you know, I've used um, push, uh, like those little straight pins. You can use black topped like colored straight pins and you can use that for the eyes i didn't have any i have white ones which i could have painted i've done that before um you can use buttons if you have buttons i also i thought these were kind of big but i found these like pebbles at uh dollar tree they're like those little rock things that you put in thing in um vases but these i thought were a little too big but Use what you have. I mean, you. I'm sure you have it. So I thought it was kind of cool. I have, I don't even know where these are from. Probably Dollar Tree. They're like the beads. Um, Ooh, blue eyes like me. So I thought, it was a I'm going to do blue eyed snowman. You could do whatever you want. You see a lot of black, but I'm going to do blue. Pamela said you could drop a cinnamon stick right down in the middle of it. Ooh, Ooh that that's a good, good idea. Too. Okay, so let's get his little eyes on here. Maggie said, when you're throwing shirts out, always take the buttons off before you throw them out. Ooh, good tip. That's awesome. Yeah, we usually don't throw it, even if it's trashed, we always give it to Goodwill or something. But yeah, that's a great tip. That's what we love. When you guys give, 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 I can't talk. Give tips. We have a very positive community. So if you're new here, please stick around. Um, you won't be sorry. Uh, we love everybody here. We have a fun time. So give our page a like and a follow. See, look how blue eyes. Isn't that cute? You can do whatever. Okay, so we got the little eyes on. Now for the nose. The nose, a couple things. You can use felt. I have like orange felt, and you can just cut out a little carrot nose. Um, I had orange, um, what are these, pipe cleaners. So I'm going to use that. And I double mine up. Okay, so here's my pipe cleaner, and I just kind of bend it. You don't need a very big nose. All right, so once I get it bent. Oh, that's a cool idea. So it's a little, it's like bent like that, okay? Hi, Gail. And then, hey, Gail. So, and then just go to the end and just kind of twist it. So you kind of give it more of that pointiness. You guys are so quick to replying. So see? You got like this little nose. And then because it has that little wire, it kind of sticks into your sock. But we're going to put a little glue just to be sure. Coffee beans Ooh. for the eyes and the mouth. That's, That's a, a good idea. That's a great idea, Pam. Leslie said, I love your shirt. That's in our market. Patches That's... loves your shirt. That's one of the shirts in our market. So her shirt says, if you can't see it, it says... Here comes Amazon, here comes Amazon, right up my driveway. <laughs> well, it's my got little... a little red truck with a whole bunch of packages in the back of it. <laughs> but that shirt is in the uh, in the market. If you go to beinspiredmarket.net and then go up to the menu and click the market tab, 
Um, it'll take you right to everything in the market. So I'm gonna make sure his nose. After the live, go check it out. Okay. We get to a thousand, Sandy Newber, and I'll dance. Look how cute. My little nose. It's like 3D too. To yeah, it's it. like sticking out a little. So if you use felt, you can definitely fold up some felt and kind of make it stick out too. So that's the fun part. I'm just here to have fun with you guys, inspire you if I can, if you've never seen this craft. But I want you to give it a try. That's what this is about. And trust me, once you try it, you're going to be hooked. <laughs> so, sorry, my throat is really dry. For the mouth. Now, mouth, you don't have to put a mouth out. You can leave it, but I'm going to put one on mine. And I just have a paint pen. You can use a Sharpie mar marker. I like the coffee beans. Oh, you like the coffee beans? I think that's a great idea. Plus, it'll smell good. We love coffee. Yeah, we do. So I'm just putting his little coal mouth. Again, she's inspiring you just to show Take you how easy on this it. is to do. Yes. And you guys can come up with your own spin. And tag us on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, we're there too. You can tag us, Be Inspired Market. Um, and we would love to see your craft. So look how cute that is. Okay. And that's not even with the hat yet. Pam just said, <laughs> and I think she was a newbie. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm a program manager for an adult daycare. I love recycled items, budget friendly. Mm -hmm. And I hope you don't mind me sharing with my 70 members. Oh, not, not a problem, Pam. No, absolutely. Thank you for sharing. These are your guys to do. And if you haven't visited our blog, we have other DIYs there, too. Just trying to get everything on the blog is sometimes a little more challenging when you have a full-time job. <laughs> okay, so now the hat, the cuteness. The hat's going to take it over the top, all right? And we're still going to embellish him because he's got to look cute. So lay your little guy down. What do we name him? And don't say Frosty. <laughs> Bill. Bill. Yeah. So what Did you're going to you do... No? What you're going to do is you're going to go around and you're going to see where you need to snip it. So you're going to just put it enough so that you can wrap it around. And this is just fabric I got at Joann's. Somebody said you can use earplugs for the uh, for the nose. Ear, earplugs. Earplugs, those foam earplugs you stick in your ear. You can cut those off oh. and it's already like a cone. All right. Yeah. Somebody said Bill Jr. I am a junior. That <laughs> yes. would be. Let's that, name. Let's that would be William the Third. Yes. And don't forget to keep sprinkling because somebody is going to get this little cutie sent to him. And that's our giveaway for the month of November. Every time we're live, you sprinkle, you spread the honey. We will um, put you in. You have to comment, spread the honey in the comments. Stanley the Snowman, Maggie said. Cute. Chili. <laughs> Chili. That's okay, good. so that's my hat. And again, your hat is really going to depend on how big you made his head because you want to make sure it's going to wrap around. And then, um, you know, depending on how tall you want it, you know, if you want a bigger one or floppy or I want or a floppy one. hat. Too late. <laughs> are you serious? Why are you not? Um... Okay. Okay. We'll discuss it. We'll afterwards. discuss it. Name okay. him Will. All right. So that's a little too short. So I'm going to have to, now his scarf, same thing. You're going to go around. No, you know what? I think the snowman would be a good name for him. Hmm. Is it a him or a her? It's a him. It's a him? Oh, snowman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, snow woman. <laughs> snow woman. It could be a snow woman. It could. You put braids on it. Um, so I just wrapped around the neck to make the scarf. What okay. about, this is a perfect snowman name. Red. Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. Arthur. Isn't that a perfect snowman name? That is. That's a perfect snowman name. Arthur. Okay. So, let me... So, this is around the neck, and now i got to make the thickness of his little scarf. Arthur the snowman so let me... was a very happy soul. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> With a corn cup pipe and two button nose and two eyes made out of blue rubies. <laughs> Arthur okay. the snowman. Got everything like in That'd the front be of perfect. me. Yeah. Somebody said uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna take, so this is my scarf, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm those edges are not clean. Thanks for the hearts and the stars. I'm gonna just go ahead and fold over and get like um, a little hem going. Jody said Frank. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up Frank. I'll just roll it over. Arthur the snowman. That just gives it a cleaner edge. Yeah, Jenna Watkins said Arthur the Christmas snowman. There you go. Come on, somebody else. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba Carmen. <laughs> this is funny. All right. Joy said, I thought Arthur was a mouse. <laughs> Patches said, that's my daddy's name. Oh, nice. That's awesome. All right, let's roll this over. Okay. That gives it a little cleaner edge. Gus. Okay. Not bad. Cole. All right. We're going to put it. So we want the little... Scarf makes it, but we're gonna make it cuter. Chili Willy. So I'm just taking. I'm not going to glue the front, and I'm gonna show you why. Oh yeah, rubies are red. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know my. I don't know my jewelry. You know the diamond. That's all they counted. <laughs> okay, let's get this on here. Clarence. You guys are good with the names. We'll announce his name tomorrow when we post it, but make sure you guys are following and getting your notifications. Clyde. <laughs> Stacy said Cl Clyde. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm sorry if somebody's named Clyde. Right. I like Arthur still. So I got his little scarf, and I'm kind of like squishing it down. It doesn't look... Jack Frost. That's pretty good. Let me get the... Patches, how about chubby? <laughs> All right, so now I'm just putting a little glue so that I can scrunch his little... Preston. Ooh. And kind of give it, you know, so it has some movement to it, so it doesn't look so flat. There you go. And then you want to make sure your back and everything is clean. Amazon. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a so good one. Funny. Amazon. Amazon the snowman. And I did switch out my hot glue to um, fabric glue. So I don't know if that makes a huge difference with the fabric, but I like it. Okay, a little scrunchy. How cool. This is, and like I said, make it your own. Do what you love. Okay. So see how you kind of scrunch up his little scarf. It's never perfect when it's on your neck. If you can get your kids to wear a scarf. My girls, we, I mean, we're originally from um, Chicago and we're in Florida now. So if you didn't know that. And my girls were, I'm just putting some glue. They did not like to wear scarves. <laughs> they would fight me and I would always be, I don't know if it was the Polish in me, but I was like, you need to cover your neck. You get sick if you don't cover your neck. Oh, that's another Can alternative. I just, I just want you to show them. Yes. Because that's another alternative. <laughs> that's another I just alternative. Thought of it yep. To make it more traditional. Yes. So before you put that hat on. Okay. Then I need a little piece because you got to get that little scarfy part. Why do I feel like I'm playing... <laughs> A dozen uh checkers yeah right. blizzard penny said blizzard oh that's a cute name okay so now this little scarf part that comes because you could tie it but you never get that knot right so oh i said don't glue it that was why i said don't glue it but oh i didn't glue this side so good so all i'm gonna do is take my little scarf and stick it under there. That's why I said don't glue your scarf down all the way. Now you can kind of glue it down. Jody said name him honey. <laughs> <laughs> Jody. Jody. <laughs> That's going to be our new thing. <laughs> and Jody says that because Jody's in the club, which is our private group. It's closed, but it will be reopening and we will let you know. And if you want to know, just comment or text us club and we'll tell you um, when it reopens. But um in the club, Bill crafts with me, and every time he crafts, I'm always, honey, honey, honey. No, you do it in here, too. We'll do it in okay, here. Okay, so Claudia's got one. She's got a good one. See how you just, like, take your little flap, 
and you're putting it underneath your scarf and then putting it on here. And then we're going to give it some like little frilly stuff. So Claudia's got a good name. Mm -hmm. Melton. <laughs> Melton. Oh, you get that's... It? Like melting, I get it. I get melting. it. Melting. I like that too. Uh huh. That's cute. Okay. I like Arthur better. Okay. So now I'm just cutting the little edges to give it a little fray. But see how cute that is so far? So he got his little scarf. Oh, Carol said umber. That would be cool too. Umber. umber. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I need some tea. Patches said Wibbon. You could name him Wibbon. Yes, patches. <laughs> okay, we're going to make the hat. Now, Bill brought, this is an alternative. If you don't want to make the hat. Might not fit. I don't know. We don't know if it'll fit. But these are these little cute um, Santa hats. And we made last week on a live, if you guys missed, guys missed it, we made this little cute snowman. And it has homemade hot chocolate and it's a gift well i ended up using that hat on top of here so if you didn't check out that live go check out that live um but if i mean you have control at the size of your snowman because how much rice you put in there i think it's gonna so fit. you 100 percent can push put, it down a little bit turn it around push it down no you, like can you just push down from no, the top a little bit yeah yeah oh yeah you that's for sure perfect can put there that yep. is perfect so if you don't want to make the hat. The only thing you'd have to do is cut a hole in the bottom of the hat. Yes, this that. is styrofoam. So you're going to have to like take your X-Acto knife, cut it, kind of hollow it out, and get it in there. But it is a cute alternative, so I'm glad he brought that. Ladies, good idea. Ladies, okay. ladies. Let me get his little hat. Patricia Harper's. Hey, Patricia, I don't think we've seen you Seen you? In a while. No, we haven't. She said call him Summer. Ooh. Yes, I like that too. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. Where did you get the orange nose? Uh, I think it was. It's uh, a pipe cleaner. Orange pipe cleaner. Okay, we're going to see how I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to fold up this edge to kind of give him a lip. Or what is that? Like a rim of his hat. Melton Arthur. It's actually not going to matter because I'm going to put something else on it. But Melton, let's just do that. Melton, Melton. Arthur. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I like that too. But I like summer. Melton Arthur Summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's his full name. Uh, you guys are so fun. See, this I... is so cute. This is, and this is fun. So like we said, we're hoping you guys come here. So basically, that's the front of him. Is he cute? So flip him over. You always want to do everything on the back. So let's get him closed up. We just make sure. Uh, Terry uh, Toberman, those hats were purchased at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. That they, one is. This one is. This hat is. These little clips That's are good. It's actually really nice. It's a nice hat. Because I can clip it, see, before I glue it. And then I want to make sure, yeah, see, you just want to make sure that before you start gluing and doing everything that you have it all where you want it. Lynn said you could use the toe from a sock for the hat. You oh, yes. Say, yeah. Absolutely. Nancy. That was funny, Nancy. What would she say? She said, hats off to you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smart, Nancy. You guys are so fun. Snip that off. Okay. Now we're going to kind of get it up a little. Uh, sorry to hear that, Patricia. She said, sorry, guys. Been watching replays. My hubby's health is fading, and I'm busy nursing him. Oh, that's way more important, you. Patricia. Way more important. We're happy to see you on. Yeah, and prayers for you. Okay, so let's get this little settled. Okay, see how cute he is? And then what I thought would be cute, we're going to do the top and everything. Oh, Lois. Is he too small for the teddy bear hat from last year's No. Oh, you remember. He, he's too big. He's too big. And who said that? Uh, Lois. 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 Lois, you've been around for a while. I love it, Lois. So we made a little gnome um, jar. But look, I got the hat. I did think about that. So this was uh, off of a teddy bear from Dollar Tree. So How if you guys see this, that? I don't know. But we did do a craft with it. We did a gnome with it. Um, okay. So what I thought would be cute. 
because when I think snowman and I think like cold, I think like you got to be bundled up, which we don't do here in Florida anymore. <laughs> um, and I always say I get a little homesick around this time. We had two days of being cold. So this is yarn because we're going to be doing a blanket tutorial again. Last year's blanket tutorial had some serious lighting issues. So we're going to do a blanket tutorial. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to want to stay tuned because we did that last year and I got so many compliments on how everybody, like I broke it down enough for them to understand it. Okay. So let's. Okay. I think Kathy just named him. What? Arthur B. Melton. <laughs> B E E, get it? Oh! Inspired. Arthur B. Melton. <laughs> That's cute. That's awesome. So see, like you want to get a little of the fuzzy in there. So let's get that on there. See, you guys always have that creative mind. Okay. <laughs> Sheila. So we were all first timers once and now we're all hooked. <laughs> I bet you'll be back again soon. Carol and Bill are the best on the internet. Aw, thank you guys. You're you so could use sweet. Two pom poms and pipe cleaner for earmuffs. Oh, that's cute. Instead of a hat. That really good idea. Okay, I want to get it on here. Name him Cozy. Chili. It's 73 in Chicago today. Yeah, that's pretty nice in Chicago. That's what Ashley said. She's like, but actually, she was outside and she said it was cold. Okay. Did I do that? Yeah. So get that around there. But you can dress them. I mean, how fun is that? Especially up north. I'm sure you ladies are going to have snow days and things like that. Go around your craft room. Find things to make. It, it really, I feel, crafting is good for the soul. It really is. I mean, for this time that we're on here, it got us away from whatever, and we're just having a fun time. Stephanie said I'm a silent watcher. Well, you know what, Stephanie? Don't Not be anymore. Silent. You're not silent anymore. You just spoke up. She said, I usually get in, I Oops. usually get up in the morning and stalk my crafters' pages. Y'all are one of my favorites. Ah, thank you. And then somebody wants to know the name of this. That was just, um, it's like Burnett Blanket um, Extra. So it's extra thick. And when we do the blanket, we need five of these. So um, if you guys see them, grab them, because last year, um, to be honest, I made the blanket and then I couldn't find, I couldn't find the yarn. Okay, let me get his hat back on and I'm going to glue him Jody. down. Jody said it was 70 here today in Michigan. I mowed two lawns and walked almost 10 miles between the two lawns. Oh my geez. Jody, I think I might've walked maybe not even a quarter of a mile. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything. Like, gee, I give you a lot of credit. So once you have your hat where you want it, just glue it down so it doesn't pop out. Okay, we'll get to his top. His little scarf, I think, needs something. So I have, again, go in your craft room. I have this little wooden snowflake. I got this whole pack off of Amazon. If you're not familiar with our Amazon store, it's on our website. You just go to the Amazon store. And typically, everything that I use for my crafts, I put in a special little craft supply button. But, but I said button. Menu. Bucket. See? Look how cute that is. You know what makes that, though? This. The, the little, little fur, fur around his hat. Okay. And then for his hat, you just want to kind of bunch it up. Thank you all to that have spread the honey. Sprinkled. We appreciate it. We really do. We're just folding it over. Jody said, my body is shot. I'm surprised I'm still awake. Oh, I give you credit, Jody. You know what? When we're over, you can go to bed. I give you permission, <laughs> Jody. You can go right to bed. And I'm going to glue some of this to close up some of that edge. You don't have to close it all up. <clears throat> Excuse me. The yarn was from, I think she bought this one at Joann's, but they have it at Joann's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby. Yep. I know I've seen it one of them. I'm going to take some twine. Following Carol around the store. <laughs> all right. Let me tie this up a little. You kind of just play with your hat. So, and we're going to do something to the top, too, because we're making them fuzzy. Oh, this is fun. You guys are still You can make a whole honey. bunch of these. You could give them away for gifts to your neighbors, to your family. 
to your friends. Good stocking stuffers. How cute would that be if you have grandchildren? Morgan Hansen, where have you been? She said, OMG, finally made it for a live video. It has been forever. Oh, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. So if you want, you can put a little pom-pom. You can cut this part. Hold on, let me get this. There's a couple. Let's get that folded. Yeah, that weather, Sheila Stubbs, has been crazy. You guys already had snow, I think, last week or something, maybe the week before. She said it was 83. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so for the top, there's a couple things I've done sometimes where you could just take, but I think I'm going to put a little fur pom-pom on there. You can take your scissors and you can just go ahead and make like frillies. I have some spare little fur, so I'm going to make the tiniest little pom-pom. Sheila Stubbs. Let's see do, if it works. Sheila Stubbs, I do a lot of following Carol around the store. <laughs> you I'm that guy that leans on the cart waiting for her. She goes, let's just run in here. It's going to be 10 <laughs> minutes. I know what I'm going in for. Okay. So to make a fur pom-pom, if you guys follow and you know we do the gnomes, we always have little scraps. Angela said you could always stuff his hat with filler, too. Yes, you to can. more full. Yep. So all I'm going to do is take some glue. Oop, hello. Get that on here. Somebody said, what's in the vase? What is the vase? Vase. I don't see a vase, but if you're thinking of that tea, that's a cup of tea. <laughs> and she's making a snowman. So you just take some glue and you just squish your little glue down, your little ball. What's the body made of, Tara Davis? Tara Davis, the body is made of a sock, a cotton stock, a sock from Dollar Tree filled with rice. She's making a snowman, but hold tight because it's going to be really cool. Sheila said, that's just ador adorbs, Carol. I can't talk either. Lynn said, what was for dinner, Bill? Chili. <laughs> we had like three days of cold weather, so I told Carol today, I said, I'm going to do some chili in the crock pot. So I made some chili in the crock pot. Yep, it was 88 degrees here today. <laughs> so we had chili in the 88 degree weather. All right, let me... Clean. Jackie said, I just found you scrolling on Facebook. Oh, there hey, you go. Welcome. If you're new, like and follow. Hit that like and follow button. We'd sign love up to for, have you. Sign up for texting. Yes. All right, let me glue this all to the back. Yeah, oh. we text you when we go live. So. Base. It was the base, not the vase. So the base is, um, it's a white cotton sock from Dollar Tree filled with rice. The fringe on the hat, Yes. Yeah, so you could do fringe on the hat. I did a little pom pom. Look Ooh, how excuse cute. Me. <laughs> did you just burp? I did. I'm sorry. That was me. Excuse me. And then that just snuck up on me. See that little ornament? You can get that from Dollar Tree. I don't want the ornament. I just want that little thing. <laughs> and for a buck, I'll take it. Hey, could you do me a favor? What? Can you cut something else just just for fun? Linda Smith said, does it really help to hold your mouth open, hold your mouth a certain way? Oh, do I cutting? do that? That's so awesome, Linda. <laughs> She's being funny. She's being funny. No, I know. It's like Michael Jordan when he stuck out his tongue when he was going to shoot a shot. Okay, so this is just a little embellishment. Have fun. I could sit here all day and just do this. He's so cute. What's the body made of? Tara, the body's made of rice. Bill's going to be like, watch the replay. <laughs> no. Spicy no, chili, no. Bill? No. It wasn't super spicy. I do like spicy. Okay. Um, I used to. Look how adorable. Why is my camera funky? Arthur. See how cute? Is that Arthur? That's Arthur. Arthur oh, Look B. how Melton. cute. Arthur And B. how Melton. easy. Have fun. If you don't like the pom-pom, just do the frillies. If you want to just do the the little, um, you can also, for the hat, you can use the socks. You don't have to use fabric. Um, the scarf, super cute. Super cute idea. Look at his um, eyes. His eyes with the blue. They you pop. Always, yeah. You always, the camera's kind of funky. Um, but look how cute. He is. His little nose, put his little mouth on there. I just think he's adorable. He's adorable. So. Angela, that shirt that Carol's wearing, you can get that at beinspiredmarket.net. I'm trying to reply to you, but those comments are going by so, so fast. So quick. I need your shirt. Oh, yeah. He just replied. Adorable. Thanks, Allison. Good to see you guys on here. Love it. Oh, see, today I could see it clear. Love him. Thanks, Jody. Oh, he's so sweet. Thanks, Lori. Arthur, yeah, Arthur so B. sweet. Melton. 
So we finally named him. His name's Arthur. Arthur B. Melton. Arthur B. Melton. Very yeah. cute. Very cute. We had so much fun with you guys. If you sprinkled or spread the honey, make sure you guys commented because somebody's going to win one of these cute little gnomes. Um, make sure you guys get on our texting, 847-349-4477. We will text you when we're live. Oh, thanks for all the hearts. We should be on tomorrow. Stacey um, said, first time seeing you. I love snowmen, so I will have to watch replay. Yay. I missed the first half. It was 75 in Indiana today. But chili sounds really oh, good. Oh, yeah, Welcome, Stacy. Oh, That's thank you. You guys to, are so. like, it's adorable. Perfect. Make some. Make sure you guys tag us on Instagram. Thank you. My cheeks hurt. We have so much fun with you. We appreciate all of you showing up. Um, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. We really, we would have given up a long time ago. So we show up for you, and we're happy you guys show up for us too. So um, have an amazing rest of your night, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And all right? you know what, guys? Hmm. Thank you for the Arthur, because for real, that's my middle name. <laughs> My name is William Arthur Barron <laughs> Jr. So anybody that's still on that hasn't jumped off, you just got my first, my middle name. So bye guys. Bye guys. Have we'll a see good, you soon. Have a good evening and be safe.